Well, what do we have here? It appears that we have a ripped ferrule where the brace attaches. Of course, what do you think happened? I can tell you, the slide was frozen in here, and the attempt then was made to twist it out by some someone, the customer in this case, and what happened is they probably felt it start to move and they go, ah, oh, we're making progress and they continued to twist and it fatigued this uh, brazed joint. And so what we're gonna do is I've got a nickel tube that is this size and I'm gonna make a new ferrule and then I will take this portion, smooth that out and then braze it onto the new ferrule and then install the entire ferrule brace combination. Now, is this part available as a separate piece? I doubt it. But even if it were, um, again, the idea you may have heard me say before, there's the idea of being a parts replacer or being a repairman or a craftsman. And I like to uh, work with my hands and make things if at all possible. So we'll get going on this and it should be a real interesting, fun project. This lacquer will probably scorch a little bit in the process because my experience, the Jupiter lacquer tends to do that. I'm not sure what they're using. You can get an idea of that bent up tube. Now let's take off this part and I'll just use a burnisher to, to knock it loose. That really got twisted and bent, damaged. So we'll wipe the excess solder. Bell brace to hand slide connection joint. There we go. And again, as long as the torch is gone, we'll go ahead and heat this flange. New month. Not much snow yet. None really. Uh, we had a, a, a small snow. Small snow? A light snow. And uh, a dusting about a month ago also, but it all went away. All right, so those are clean and ready to go. And um, now we just need to measure. Let's measure our ferrule. And see what we've got. Let me cool that down just in case. In case it's too hot, and it's not. That is good. We'll take our uh, get our overall men. 0.981 inches, which is 24.94 millimeters. So about a 25 millimeter ferrule. I have a piece of nickel tubing, so I'm just going to put that in the lathe and I'm just going to score it just with a back saw and then I'll go ahead and readjust that and put the cutting tool on it. Let's try that. and put some marks on it to make it look pretty. And I'm just going to finish this. Like so.
nothing real high tech here, you know. Pretty simple stuff. There's a part. Just to smooth that out a little bit. And there is our basic part. Taking a flat tone hole file and just dressing the edge to square it up. Before we go too far, let's make sure that this fits. This is that's got to be straightened out. Well, let's just try it on the uh, the tube. Oh yeah, that's like a perfect the perfect fit. Let's deal with that dent. There's a number of ways you can do this, of course, but, you know, you can just use an expander, go like that, and not really tightening that down, but just enough to get that started, and I can go in this way, adjust the expander tight slightly. Round that out. All right. Got the gooseneck end. That's a little bit on the. Just get that roughed out a little bit. Now this one's just a little small. Yeah, a little small. Let's go back. Put the expander now and round it out. A little bit more. Oh yeah. Beautiful. See how that's going to work? And then this guy shall be brazed on. Before I braise, before I braise away on this, what I want to do is I want to strip, first of all I'm going to clean out some excess solder in there. Well we'll see if I can get this to hold still while I braise it. It might bubble around, I don't know. A little bit. Oh well. All right, just grab. The, no, don't grab the part. <laughs> Sense of humor, right? Ah. Okay. So here we go. There's the part. All right. 
and the way it fits on is right in this way, right? And then the gooseneck goes on like that. And then the tuning slide inner goes on like that. And that's basically it, right? Look at that, turned up real nice. Buff that up, and now we'll so uh, soft solder this all together and onto the instrument. I, you know, I, I I like that portion of the job a lot, and and it's going to function exactly the same. There's going to be no difference in the configuration when we're all said and done. So, anyway, um, let's get on with this. <laughs> Just buying a little bit of slide grease so that I can put that on but not all the way I just want to make sure that it's sitting parallel and gonna move freely so we're self aligning is what we're essentially doing and then we'll go ahead and start applying some acid flux to the pieces that will be joined this one and then this one and then if I scorch any lacquer nearby I'll have to buff and touch that up this is the gooseneck does anybody know why well, because it's got a curve in it it's like a goose's neck Thus the uh, nickname. Oh, that one's not flowing in as easily as it should. I may need to. Oh, there we go. That flowed right in there. Probably wasn't a big enough break in the lacquer, but it, it found one. Got that. This instrument also had a broken water key, um, so I happened to carry these Jupiter water keys by, I don't know, I have a dozen of these. So someone might say, well, you repaired the other thing, why don't you repair this? <laughs> Good point. Well, these are made, these are cast like a white metal, hot metal. So there's no way to braise it, there's no way to solder it. It just melts and goes bloop. So it's it's got no uh, no ability to repair. And, and these keys are, are pretty cheap part wise and I have them in stock right on hand. So there's no looking around for stuff. Some of this stuff you just replace the part, it's, it's obvious. Put on there. Now that cork fits in there really tight, so I'm not even going to glue it. Um, that's a super solid, tight fit. Anyway, oh, let me show you the bell. Here it is. Look at that. That's just fantastic. And they're going to have, like I said, two new to them but used trombones for concert work. And now they've got this all set to use in marching band, in the bleachers, in the stadium, in the pep band, in the gym. And that's going to serve them real well. Now I'm going to address the issue why it was sticking in here in the first place. And really I think it's just because the slide fit. The taper is just too perfect. So we hope you enjoyed the video. 
please like and subscribe um, hit the notification bell but more importantly share the video with friends band directors other students players uh, teachers um, and you may always contact me with the information provided below in the description and I do appreciate you stopping on by and checking out Jim Flies too. I think I'm going to change it to Jim Repairs too. Uh, but anyway, not doing much flying these days. We'll see y'all.